Hello, it's Marion Stewart, and as it's World Menopause Day, I wanted to give a gift to women all over the world based on the success I've had with patients over 25 years, helping them to get through this transition smoothly. So first of all, I think we have to make sure that we look after ourselves because so often we're rushing around helping other people and we forget about our own needs. And that's understandable. Women do that. But this is a time when you've got to stop and you've got to really care for yourself because you need a 5,000 mile service at this point and you probably need a refuel. So you've got to work out how to do that to make sure that your nutrients are in an optimum range and that your fallen estrogen levels when your ovaries stop functioning are raised up again and you can do that naturally with food. So it's really important, first of all, make some quiet time for yourself, do some relaxation because the research shows that between 50 to 60% of flushes are overcome by doing just 20 minutes of formal relaxation a day. So you can do the relaxation like you do at the end of a yoga session or you can use an app that will take you into a relaxed state, anything that works for you, but something formal, not knitting or watching television, something really where you switch off completely and you rest and recharge. Exercise is also important at the time of midlife, our metabolism slows down and so we tend to get a bit fat around the middle. So in order to deal with that, if you speed up your metabolism through exercise, it will gobble up that fat. So make an appointment with yourself, put it in your diary. Five times a week you want to be doing some exercise, preferably some weight bearing exercise to help boost your bones as well, but also aerobic exercise, whether it's dancing or rebounding or skipping, whatever you fancy doing to your favorite music, it'll make you feel good as well. Help to stimulate the release of the feel good hormones, the endorphins in your brain. That's important too. So making sure you've got wholesome food little and often. You have your breakfast, lunch and dinner. Don't skip any meals and maybe have a snack mid-morning and mid-afternoon. And don't forget to include the naturally occurring estrogen. So those are the foods that contain soy and linseeds. They've got very similar estrogen content to our own naturally occurring estrogen. When you look under the microscope, you can fool the brain into thinking that you've got normal circulating estrogen again. So you need to consume those little and often throughout the day and the evening, and that will help to get your estrogen levels back into an optimum range again. So that's important as well as eating wholesome food to make sure you have naturally occurring estrogen. As well as having food that contains naturally occurring estrogen, you can also take supplements. And there's a particular red clover supplement, Promensal, which has been through trials all over the world over the years and been shown to be both safe and effective. So we tend to use that as part of our program and you can take that each day to boost your natural estrogen in your body. So doing all of those things for yourself will help you feel good. It isn't magic, it doesn't necessarily feel great the next day, but cut out the stimulants as well, especially if you're feeling anxious. Things like caffeine won't help you at all. And so coffee, tea, chocolate, although we tend to love them, find alternatives just in the short term so that you don't feel twitchy and anxious and that you're not blocking the absorption of good nutrients getting through to your body. So I really hope you have a great transition. You're very welcome to come to my website, marionstuart.com. I have a weekly newsletter and you can sign up for that. It's completely free. And I'm happy to share my wisdom with women all over the world. So have a good menopause day.